Do not slam the door. yoga or something it's, it's not the best place to hang out so we were shooting this crazy car scene at explosions everywhere and this big piece of shrapnel hit my hand i had to go to the hospital I was thinking, and for four weeks i had in a cast it was crazy what do you do i'm a filmmaker too i'm an independent filmmaker here in portland i'm looking to get into features i've only made shorts so far but i have an idea for a feature film and I'd like, I'd love to share it with you. Okay, listening. Okay, well, in short, it's about an artist and her love affair with the city of Portland. Different color schemas throughout the film would represent the different stages of her relationship. And that's it? Well, of course, there's their love story, which follows the voyage of the hero. Um, I don't see it being viable, but good luck. So anyway, <laughs> we had this great, crazy boat and we were like all on it. No, I, I just had the worst performance. Hey, I know you. I think you might think I'm someone else. No, no, the, the festival a couple of months ago. Oh, hey, Louisa, this is Rhea. She's another producer director here. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, and this is Luke. He's the composer for my current documentary. You know, pay anybody. Because all these hippies will work for free, so that's, well, that's really good. I know, I know. That's what I like about coming here, is that it's like it's long enough.
It's weird seeing you here. You must be from Portland. Uh, no, I'm actually from Seattle. I was just here for a performance. I'm a pianist. Oh, nice. Sorry about the um, phone thing. I was just going through some things. What are you going through, if you don't mind me asking? A lot. <laughs> I really fucked up that performance, but um, then again, I don't know if it's just like overanalyzing, mm -hmm. self-deprecation stuff. No, I definitely fucked it up. I feel in a very similar place right now, but I'm sure mine is worse. Oh yeah? What's going on with you? Basically, I'm a failure. I think I can relate. <laughs> I should go. Can I at least get your name? I'm Louisa. Loop. Maybe when I'm back in town, we could go for a drink. Can I get your number? Sure. Cool. <laughs> We'll give it to me. Eh? Okay. <laughs> um. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Stop picking. I'm not picking. Yes, you are. Don't do it. <clears throat> you have to stay on your side of the bed. Don't touch me. I drew a line down the center, so don't cross it. I don't want it to look like everyone else. I don't want ropes and whips and stuff. I've never done this. Sylvia. But you're not trying to touch me at all. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I can do to stop you. Get you I know. Ow. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's yeah. July 15th. Dreams are better than memories, because memories, I will forget them all.
Hi, this is Luke. <laughs> so sorry I'm late. an addictive personality. I think that I do too. What are you addicted to? Mostly sensation. Not even sure what that means, really. What about you? Well, no hard drugs. Nicotine, obviously. It's not that bad, just like two packs a week. But I think primarily, I'm addicted to fascination. Nothing can be fascinating for too long. True. Have you ever been addicted to a person? I don't think I have ever felt addicted to a person. Do you want to find a club to dance at? Sure. So how was your day with that guy? What's his name? It wasn't a date, we were just hanging out. Oh, come on, I can tell by your energy it was more than just hanging out. You know I never like anyone romantically. Pass it. What is this? Wondering if you noticed the half moon with Jupiter by its left shoulder last night. I did see the moon last night and today. Perfectly halved, but I didn't catch Jupiter or the moon's shoulder. But I did notice your left shoulder somehow. So you emailed that you had some complications in your life. Well, I just feel like I should tell you that um, I'm married, separated. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something different like you were addicted to Coke or something. 
No. <laughs> Let's play. No, I'm smoking. No. What? If you are, I am. No, you can't. You need to quit smoking. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. A cigarette back. Oh shit! You're welcome. Who's the guy you're seeing? What? What are you talking about? I saw you going to a club a couple weeks ago with a guy. Oh no, Auntie, that's a new intern at the gallery. He's from New York. You guys been wanting me to show him around town, make him feel comfortable. Seemed to be dancing pretty close. I was dancing, I was having fun. I was helping him feel comfortable. And what were you doing walking by that club anyway? What's his name? His name? Michael. I was just walking. Really, downtown? Mm-hmm. At night, that's weird. I just, that doesn't seem like you would do that. It was just uh, coincidental. Yeah, that's weird coincidence. If you say there's nothing going on, then I have to believe you. Okay. <laughs> the reason I brought you down here it's because I wanted to let you know that you were safe with me. And that I have you. Mm -hmm. And I will take care of you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, what? Yes, master. Okay. What's your opinion? Well, you'll never make the Metropolitan. Name's Collins. Glad to meet you. I'm sabbatical. I just made a speech in New York on integration.
What's wrong? Do you really have to ask me that? You know. I want you to tell me. I don't like it that you can't stay. You always have to go. What would you like me to do, Sylvia? I don't think I can come down tomorrow. Kate found your tampon. She looked through my trash downstairs. I'm not really in a space to talk. I want to see you so much. But I can't. I'm dark, I know. I wish you would get home. I'm sort of confused. I really wish we could talk in person right now. I feel like I don't want to drag you into this any more than I have. I'm so sorry, Louisa. What? Louisa, I want to live with my kids. I'm sorry, Michael. I'm not going to be able to hang out tonight. Um, I have to work on some paintings for an upcoming show, but we'll see each other soon.
Okay, make the wish. Ready? Just don't get all melodramatic in the screenplay. I know that your connection to Luke felt really profound to you, but it, it might not read that way to everybody. I hope we have an earthquake. That way we can have an apocalyptic ending where the only thing that matters is true love. Then whoever's playing me is gonna have to be in that scene because what she had with him was definitely not love. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. It's a very temporal state. I mean, nothing can be fascinating for too long. It's, it's true. Have you ever been addicted to a person? Cut. That's um, good. Good? I can do it a little, a little louder or broader if you want, or I can just... Um, yeah, let's try some... A few different things. Okay. Sure, Maybe sure. a little bit more neurotic. <laughs> None of them feel right to me. But I do feel like we found our lead. I knew it the first time I saw her. Honestly, I'm not sold on her as an actress either. Ah, babe, I just don't feel like I can feel her sexuality. I'm surprised you're concerned about her sexuality. I feel like she has it in spades. So you started dancing again. How is that? It's pretty great. It's fun. It's a distraction from my class and the thesis. Maybe I should start dancing. <laughs> Wait, what? You've always been so against dancing, though. Not because of morality. Because of pride. I don't judge it. I just don't want the stigma that comes with it. I have to fund the film somehow. And I feel like I have to do something extreme to get over Luke.
Good, good. Good. What can I get for you? Um, I'm gonna get a margarita. Margarita. <laughs> Um, also, uh, do you guys have a bathroom here I can use? Yeah, it's go to the right through that door. Okay. Hey, by the way, it's a strip club. Hold on, Juliet. Main character, love skeptic. Filmmaker, I want to show their push and pull. How he was a sadistic priest. Hi, Anthony. I've got some great ideas for the Kickstarter. Oh, there's a lot of noise. Are you with people? Okay, okay, bye. Hi, Ati. I'm feeling so overwhelmed. There's so much coming up for me with the Kickstarter. I feel like something's going on with Anthony. I don't know. He's AWOL. Yeah, we can talk about it more at Fort Kino. Okay, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Okay, bye. How are you? Where are you? I'm driving around in southeast Portland. Luisa, where are you? Call me back. I need to tell you something later. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So I have something to tell you.
I think you already know this, though. But I feel like we should finally say it out loud. So, the script. The film. It's about you. I mean us. Oh my god. All I've wanted this whole time is you. As foolish as that is. You have your kids. My art is all I have. Really, Anthony? I'm working 24-7. I don't have time to talk about how you want to fuck her. That's so unprofessional. You know, you're lying, so it just doesn't fit. Have you been reading my emails? Why don't you tell me where you were last night? You have been. I have to come up to Seattle. You want to know why I do the things I do for you? Because I care. I love you. What's my name? Ati. I'm the one. You were casting an actor to play me, and you were talking to me about your process and everything, and, and I had no clue, really. What's going on with you? I just want to feel you. I want to feel you deeper. Where are you? Where are you? I'll be right back. I can't stay the night. But please don't go yet. I have to tell you something. I'm an artist. And now you're a stripper. What, what else do I not know? I'm not a fucking stripper. You don't trust me. 
No. You don't even fucking trust yourself. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. I really thought we were different. I thought we were different. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to take you somewhere special in honor of your success. But I need you to do something for me, okay? Good girl. This weekend, I'm going to bring something special for you to wear.
I feel like I can't do this anymore. Every day my heart is breaking. I'm alone. anyone like this. I'll come back tomorrow before I go to work. You're going to wait here for me. Okay? miss you tonight. I'll dream about you. That was good. I want to toast to our successful Kickstarter campaign and the commencement of our principal production, to all of you who have supported this vision so much so far, to our imminent success. Salud.
That was great. Perfect. Anthony, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, yeah. Julia, your expression was enigmatic. Thank you. Very good. Oh, good. good. Thanks. Do you mind not doing that on set? I know we've worked through my issues with you dating our actor, but I would really like it if you just kept that behind closed doors for now, okay? Everyone can take an hour break for dinner and then we're moving to the waterfront scene. All right, let's get a stand in and check the audio and the light. Oh, shit, the wine, where's the wine? Lisa, someone dropped this off for you. I don't know who it was. What? I didn't tell anybody to bring this. Which way did he go? Where is he? He was over there. I don't normally smoke, oh. but lately it's become a bit of a thing for me. Mm. Hence this weird thing, which I'm sure is worse, <laughs> nanoparticles and all. <laughs> I have an addictive personality. I think I do too. Really? Yeah. What are you addicted to? Mostly sensation. They're primarily different than normal sensations. Slight alterations. What about you? Love, I suppose. Cut. Sorry. Was that me? That was not you. Okay. That was great. It's me. I'm sorry, everyone. Just um, Damien, can I just see what's going on here? Yeah. Looks good. Thanks, Dean. <sighs> Julie, how are you doing? I'm okay. Damien, that's so unprofessional. Are you? Yeah. Thanks, Maria. How are you doing in front of the camera? <laughs> Terrible, of course. Um, has Ati come? Mm -hmm. No. Fuck. Okay, <laughs> I have to call him. Okay, so just tell me, yes or no, are you coming? It looks like he's not coming. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I can't worry about that right now. Well, I could pass as a 50-something-year-old Korean man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, come watch me out there. All right, point on set. 104 Charlie, take two, Mark. What about you? Well, I haven't tried drugs or anything. Um... 
love, I suppose. Hmm. I wonder what that means to you. Have you ever been addicted to a person? Once. I think I'm still trying to figure out what that was. Dreams are better than memories, because memories, I will forget them all. And now that I've forgotten, it's as if it never happened. But at least I have evidence. i 